Ayun naman, ang i-estimate naman natin ngayon ay yung population proportion. Now, ang kaibahan ng population proportion sa population mean sa pagkuha ng confidence interval ay yung sa conditions nila at saka sa formula na ginagamit sa pag-estimate ng ating parameter. Ang conditions na kailangan nating isatisfy para maging reliable yung result natin kapag ka nag estimate tayo ng population proportion ay nandito sa board. Yung una, yung sa mga sample tulad nung sa population mean kailangan yung sample na gagamitin nyo is randomly selected. Pangalawa, yung sa normality naman para sa population proportion, kailangan nyo yung rule of thumb number 2, which is n times p should be greater than 10 and n times q should be greater than 10. Kapag nasatisfy nyo yung formula na yan, masasatisfy nyo na rin yung normality condition. At sa independence naman, kailangan yung population nyo should be uh, big at yung uh, 10 times ng sample size nyo, eh, kailangan eh, mas malaki pa rin yung population. Kapag ka nasatisfy nyo yung tatlong conditions na yan para sa pag-estimate ng population parameter na proportion, pwede na nang gamitin yung formula ng confidence interval para makuha natin yung uh, true or estimated true population proportion ng ating population, which is given by p hat plus or minus z star or yung ating critical value multiplied by the square root of pq all over n which is your standard error. Ito yung ating example para kumuha ng population proportion given ng ating uh, um, mga samples. So, the Harvard School of Public Health survey found that 2,486 of a sample of 10,904 college undergraduates said they had engaged in binge drinking. From the randomly selected sample, estimate the true proportion of college students who engage in binge drinking at 99% confidence level. Now, tulad ng pagkuha ng uh, confidence interval ng population mean, pare-parehas din yung steps na kailangan natin gawin para makompleto natin yung uh, procedure ng confidence interval. Unang step, kunin natin yung mga values na kakailanganin natin para sa formula. Yung ating sample size na 10,904, yun yung ating n. Yung p hat ay makukuha natin dun sa 2,486 out of 10,904. So, ang ating p hat ngayon is 0 0.228 kapag kakinuha natin yung proportion niya. At yung q, which is the complement of p, is 0 0.772. So, ito yung mga kailangan natin para magamit natin yung uh, confidence interval formula. Pero bago tayo mag-proceed sa computation, kailangan masatisfy muna natin yung conditions natin para malaman natin kung reliable yung gagawin natin uh, um, computation. So, sa step number two, verify, na, verify natin yung condition. Yung first, sample is randomly selected. So, uh, nasatisfy yung condition na yun. And then, to verify condition number two, which is n times p greater than 10, and n times q greater than 10, kapag kinumpute nyo siya, where n is 10,904, p is 0.228, and q is 0.772, mapapansin nyo na parehas silang greater than 10, so satisfied yung normality ng step number 2. At dun sa independence, mal malaki naman yung ating population kasi yung population natin will be all undergraduate students, which is bigger than 10 times the sample size. So, na satisfy natin yung tatlong conditions, so pwede na tayong pumunta sa step three at sa iba pang mga steps at uh, pwede nating sabihin na magiging reliable yung result natin kasi na satisfy yung conditions natin. Now, sa so step number three, pagkuha ng critical value, gagamit tayo ng Z star distribution dito. So, kailangan nyo ng calculator or ng uh, Z table values para makuha nyo yung value ng ating critical value. So, yung Z star ng 99% confidence level, parehas pa rin ang formula, 1 minus C all over 2, which will give us 0 0.005. At yan yung gagamitin natin sa calculator natin or sa Z table natin para makuha natin yung critical value, which is 2.576. Now, since nakuha na natin step 1, 2, and 3, gawin na naman natin yung step 4 and step 5. Sa so step 4 natin, yun yung actual computation ng confidence interval o yung range of values na mag -e estimate sa ating population parameter. So ito yung mga values na kailangan natin sa formula. We have our n, p hat, q, and z star. At yung formula natin for the confidence interval for population proportion, by direct substitution, we have 0.228 plus or minus 2.576 times the standard error, which is the square root of pq all over n, 
then 0.228 plus or minus 2.576 times 0 0.004 will give us 0 0.0103. At ito yung ating margin of error. Kapag kinuha nyo yung range of values, just add and subtract it from 0.228 and you'll have 0.2176 and 0.2383. So ito yung ating interval or confidence interval at 99% confidence level. So ito yung illustration ng ating estimated population parameter na proportion at ang values niya is in between 21.76% at 23.83% base dun sa formula na ginamit natin kanina. So in conclusion, with a repeated sample of 11,000 undergraduate students, we are 99% confident that the true proportion of college students who engage in bench drinking is between 22% and 24%. So ito yung mga process sa pagkuha ng uh, estimated population proportion gamit yung ating mga steps. Paano naman kung kinakailangan nating hanapin yung uh, minimum value ng ating sample size kapag magkakonduct tayo ng confidence interval? Ito yung formula sa pagkuha ng sample size or minimum sample size at a given confidence level. Given our margin of error, less than or equal to maximum error of E. So kapag dinerive nyo yung sample size dito which is N, kapag kinuha nyo siya, ang formula natin to find the value of N or the sample size will be N greater than or equal to the square of Z star times squared of PQ all over the maximum error. At gagamitin natin to dito sa problem natin for today. So sa example natin, Emily's scrapbooking business intends to survey customers about their new mobile application. On her customer satisfaction survey, she decides that she wants the estimate to be within 3% at a 95% confidence level. Since Emily has no idea of the true proportion of satisfied customers, she decided to use P hat of 0.50. Now let's determine the sample size she needs to carry out the survey. So, paggamit ng formula, hanapin nyo lang yung mga values na kakailanganin natin, like yung sample size, yung Z star, yung P, and yung E. Now, yung Z star at 95% confidence level, kapag na-compute natin siya, is 1.96 using our Z table. At ang P hat natin is given by 0.50. So, ang Q natin or uh, complement ng P hat will be 0.50 as well. At yung maximum error natin na 3% will be 0.03. Na ngayon, alam na natin yung mga kailanga, kailangan natin para sa formula. Let's solve for the, est, um, the minimum sample size needed para sa 95% confidence interval. So 1.96 times the square root of 0.5 times 0.5 all over 0.3 square will give us n greater than or equal to 1067.11 or 1,068 customers. So ito yung minimum sample size na kailangan natin para makuha natin yung survey natin at 95% confidence level.